hey guys welcome to comfy cozy up so today is the continuation for the last video where i talked about what i was working on and what i want to read to end out the month so i am going to start talk about the journal mood so journal mood uh, workshop was today um we didn't do any um workshop actually we just had a, a chat section sec session why am i struggling to talk um and i just ended it literally about uh less than 10 minutes ago so i think i'm still on a high from that i absolutely love when we get together and talk about the journaling stuff and what we're going through uh, as far as how the words are helping us um so hopefully you guys are who have been doing it because i know quite a few guys do participate but just don't post um, so that we will be having the five-year anniversary workshop in November. So I would definitely give you heads up because the day will be planned this time around. Um, the date wasn't planned ahead of time. So but this time it will be planned. You will know exactly what weekend it will be. It's always on a Sunday. So I will let you guys know all about that um leading up to it and hopefully you, you know you guys can join in it's always on zoom um because it's just easier interactive you can see everybody's face everybody can contribute to the conversation um versus you know doing it on like a youtube or instagram or something like that so i'm excited for, for the five-year anniversary um and yeah so that was a um, great day to start the day well not start because it was at three o'clock but they um, and I also started uh, working on my mom's dress. Now, in the last video, I showed you the fabric that I got from my mother as well as the plan. So I started this morning basically cutting out the pattern. Um, I also made the adjustment to what I need to do. Um, you guys already know that um, I did a mock-up for her dress already. So I know exactly what size and all of that and what I was going to do, what, you know, that kind of deal. Um, so I cut it this morning. I, you know, did some workout eight. I've been doing good this morning. Um, now let's start with the book and then I'll show you what the dress looked like so far. And also my journal that I've been making for, um, September and October. I'll show you that also. So let's start with the book. So I am reading the pillow book by Say Sigan. This is a Japanese classic. It is interesting because the chapters are super super short and what i loved in the beginning that it talks it lets you know what you're going to sign up for this is not an easy book um this this is a book that the structure of the book was completely different you know this isn't it's considered one of the oldest literature that is known um and and they're saying that they don't even have the original uh, manuscript for this at all um so this is supposed to have been like over um between they're saying between 966 and 1017 so stretch of a book and how a book is put into story was completely different then so there are going to be editions of this book that are not going to be the same um there are believe some stuff may be omitted some stuff were in it put in it some stuff was rearranged based on how they found these the storyline and that only that is very heavily on poetry in this and the center around poetry in the center around you're not sure if it's a romance or not because the main character in this is basically being pursued but in a way because of the writing and the cover-up of who's writing what that kind of deal is happening to this um, so I don't really know how to explain the storyline to be honest and I think because I'm still somewhat in the beginning stage so as I get into it I will break it down a little bit more but what I would say is I love the fact that these women came to this palace situation and one of the women in this is very much vocal not exactly what you would expect from a woman of that time and what is um the, the word the more that we i know we tired of that word <laughs> the more. um but it popped up in this and i remember just laughing the first like pages in this but these are women that are expected to carry themselves a certain way in front of people and there's a shenanigans that's happening in this but this is all i'm going to give you for now i will break down more what the story is about in the video as we go on so it's going to be a real it's going to be a real reading vlog <laughs> for this one all right guys yeah so i'm only 
I'm on night 80 something pages in and this is going to be focused on this week. All right, so for right now, some pause. Now for the uh, a journal that the journal I'm making, I decided to go with a more earthy feature. So this is a sail. You got fish. You got duck. Um, you got some. I put some stones on the bottom, um, and the back is similar. But I have this like. Um, uh, tag that I'm going to work on. I want to really make a really off the extra kind of tag that I've never done before, but I'm, I'm going to do it this week. So when I'm start doing it, I will definitely show you guys the process of this. And of course it comes with a tuck in, um, similar closure like the last one and it has two signature this way. So whenever it is done, I would say for right now, it's about, I would say about 85% done. Um, and I would do a flip through of what it looks like um, and my idea of it. It is different. Um, it is a little bit on the white side because, which I try not to do with a lot of my journals because, you know, it might look disgusting by the end with ink and everything that might get on it. So we'll see we'll see with this one all right as far as art and craft so i am trying attempting don't know if i'm gonna make it because i still have to make one outfit for myself for a particular event that i'm going to in two weeks right now it's supposed to be in two weeks we'll see if i even go but we're it's supposed to be going and I want to do that, but at the same time, my mom's birthday outfits is priority. She's traveling and I know she wants these. So I have three outfits I want to make her. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all three because... So I think I'm going to make the easier one next because the one next literally is a dress that can be done in less than two hours. Um, that's minus the cutting time. So if I put the cutting time, maybe two hours, two and a half hours, but doing that during the week when I have to work, it's going to take longer because I only commit to one hour per day to sew when I have to work. So I don't know, but I'm hoping if I can do both outfits this week, cause this one is almost done. I can maybe make it to and get her the two outfits for this week. And then next week, the one that's a little bit more challenging, work on, see if I can do that, or maybe even this week cut that one out, because at least if I cut it out, it might make a big difference, um, and I might make it in time for her to get her outfit before she leaves for her, um, her mini birthday vacation celebration. So this is what I have so far. So she wanted this long, it's long, it's long so it's a sh it's not really a shirt dress because there's no buttons um but it's a collar dress and so i'm all i need to do now is the collar work on the collar um i need to add the pockets on the other side and then so so pocket here and then attach it to the other side as well um and then i need to add the sleeve i am going to because Again, I need to cook and meal prep for tomorrow, but I am going to at least before the day end, finish the collar on this because it's not hard. I think I can definitely, and it's a possibility I may be able to finish this dress tonight and that would make me feel better because at least one of her outfit is done for her birthday. Um, and then maybe tomorrow morning, I can cut out the other dress that she likes, that she wants me to make for her. Or maybe, I'm thinking because the other dress is more work, I should do it this week. I really should. And save the easier one for next week. So that's what I'm going to do. Because the other one is a shirt dress and, you know, between the buttons and the collar and all of that, it's a little bit more work um, to get it even. Even though I think collar stuff is much easier than this, doing this front piece here oh my god i had to take it apart the first time i did it um because i could not get it really to to sit flat 
so I was able to get it to work and it came out really good so all I gotta do is literally just put the collar on and that's not gonna take long the sleeve and that's it so yeah I'm doing well as far as my mom's project I'm doing well um, it's only because it's her birthday so if you're watching this mom I didn't sign up for this I don't know when did I become this woman seamstress and, <laughs> and I'm not getting paid you know, but it's my mama so mama gonna get what she wants so y'all know how that is when it's your mom <laughs> anyway so that's the goal so i'm gonna go down to the kitchen and start putting some chicken in the oven and i'm probably gonna eat some salad for my garden um yeah so and then come back to this do my journal today i did not do that See how much I can pump up for the night and I need to commit again to about um, an hour tonight of this book um, and get my notes together so I can get my thought process on this. This is very challenging. I love what I would say about this so far. I love the poetry parts and the fact that um, it's you can't really tell what it's about in terms of like where is it leading but it's giving me... It's giving me romance for whatever reason. And I'm sure it's not. I'm going to look it up. This is definitely not a romance book. So. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Alright. Um, I will come back and continue the, 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 the day. And, and the rest of the week. Alright. See you in a few guys. So for dinner I have some jerk chicken, some Indian rice, I put it somewhere, and this salad. Now this kale is from my garden, and the, some of the tomatoes from my garden, and this pepper that I just cut some off from my garden, and I have a bag, about three bags of these. So my friend, I convinced her to do a garden this year. And she had a lot of tomato. I have literally three bags of this and some cucumbers that came from her garden. I'm excited. I think I'm going to give some of this to my mother. Try to eat them up, but yeah. <laughs> almost done with this so I was trying to figure out what kind of book this is is it a what kind of novel what kind of genre it's classic but I'm like is this some romance going in this is this some it is literally so I had to look it up because it was like okay it's a book of observation and I'm saying to myself that's the best way to put it because this really is giving me somebody's diary and we are deciding to take bits of pieces of it and make it into a novel um, of someone's thoughts, random thoughts, ran experience that they're contemplating on stories that they've heard and they decided to like, oh yeah, I'm going to write about it in my little diary and somebody got a hold of it and decided to make it into a novel. That's how it feels um, because there's nothing about it that has an actual real plot. Um, and it is about really these ladies in waiting and in this case you have one particular lady in waiting who is has this talent of poetry and poetry is a big thing in this particular society and and they are basically um trying to 
in the beginning there's a part where uh how poetry had given somebody this kind of um gave somebody something really important in this kind of society and so it's the belief that if you can write the best poem and impress this particular empress that things go things may happen for you that kind of thing you know the the high society yeah disregard that little thing happening here um and so for me i was like um interesting i do like the thought process i do like certain stories in this i like those really it's a sad story of dog of the dog and the cat um you know i and i like how short each chapters are i mean some of them are really like a sentence or two that kind of deal but it has like a pause a pose the word i'm looking for in this with the poetry and the this the belief that the, the the author has um in this and so i was very much um in 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 this as far as a lot of what was happening i do like the pictures and there's like a um, certain description in the beginning of certain things and you have um the the, the chinese style carriage in here and there's different things that's happening that i do like that um it's a bunch of stuff that I'm going to probably like talk about later and add a, just some poetry thing that I thought that was beautiful. A um, lot of poetry, lot of poetry in this. It is literally um, the theme of the book in this poetry. Um, so with that, I'm going to finish it up. I'll come back and just give you like a final thought on it. It is not a conventional story. So I don't think a lot of people are going to really in, be into a book like this, but if you're into classic, I think it's just one of those ones that you just have to like, yeah, I read it kind of, you know, attitude. <laughs> so I am going to finish this up, come back and give you the end. But for right now, I'm going to jump in and do um, some journaling. And then I will show you guys the um, outfits um, that I've done so far for my mother. I am on outfit number two. So yeah. We will come back to this. All right. All right, guys. So I did finish the dress and it is long. I added about four inches to the bottom because it, it needs to be long on her. Um, so I modified the dress. It is a dress I made before. Uh, this is McCall. McCall 8449. So this is, um, something I made before. So of course this is without buttons in the front. And it has pockets, which is a must. Um, and it has a yoke bottom um, back, but it's a gathering back. Um, and it has cuff sleeve. So it's a sleeve that can be opened up. And of course, it can be cuff. So she's probably going to most likely wear it cuff. My mom has very short hair. She has cut off her locks a year ago. And so I just picture this with the hair situation as well as uh, some really fun earrings and uh, some natural or maybe um, shoes. I don't know how much of a heel she's really going to be doing with this. But I am going to look forward to seeing how she styles this on her vacation and her birthday celebration. She will not be with me this year. She'll be traveling, but I'm excited for that. And then the second dress, and by the way, those pants are <laughs> pants that I made that I've not worn yet this month. Um, and then the one that I'm currently working on yeah, I'm gonna stuff this back. It's a shirt dress, a button up shirt dress. So I'm making simplicity eight. 80 um 8014 i'm sorry i don't know why i did but i really wanted to make the flare out 
version but it wasn't enough fabric for that so unfortunately it's more of a um it has flair but it's a little bit structured down and i decided to do c but with the collar on it this is this is an easy dress guys i it's not matter of fact i see what the back says what they classify this as Um, it doesn't say. Um, it probably would say average, to be honest. This would be considered average because of the buttons and the collar part. But because I've made this so many times as far as similar, not the same pattern, but the similar button-down situation with collar and even just regular shirts with collar, jacket with collar. That I know how to do collars now with no issue and it doesn't take me that long. Problem is this print, this print has to be lined up. Like you can't just cut and just call it a day. It is, has to be lined up guys. You see the, the print? So I finish one side and I have to keep these pins on the garment so that it stays in line with the print. And then I can work on the other side that I had to take out the pocket because the pocket wasn't lined properly. And I had to adjust the dart here. Um, and so pretty much all I got to do now is stitch this side and work on the collar, the sleeve. And then finally I'm ending it with the buttons. But I I knew it was gonna be um, giving me is gonna give me work because of the, the the prints when I you know when she was in the store buying it. Um, but I think I was thinking at first I wasn't gonna do a button down, but then I know she wants a button down dress, so I was just like oh, I'm gonna have to do it. But yeah, I'm not a big fan. Um, the back yoke did not line up as perfect. Um, but because it's the yoke situation, it doesn't look, it doesn't look weird. Um, but everything else is lined up. Even the sides are lined up. The back sides are lined up too. So that when a dress flows, it just looks like one continuously pattern going on. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I signed up for this guys. <laughs> I signed up for this. All right, guys. So let me get out of here and I will come back tomorrow and give you the progress of my mother's birthday dress as well as um, finish the book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
you can judge just how unimpressed someone is if they dislike things that most people like and praise things that others condemned. Anyway, it does upset me that people have seen these pages. All I'm thinking is, did, did this woman want her, her work published? <laughs> did she really want her, her thoughts <laughs> out there? Did, did she really want <laughs> us to read this? Um, it was interesting that, you know, yeah. And then the last thing, one of the things that was, it seems to have been the moment when this book first became known, or so it is written. Yeah, yeah. Um, what we got? That is page... 256 Yeah, I'm I'm looking at the back. I, I don't even get what this. I I, I, I didn't even get what what they. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. This. That's all it ends, guys. <laughs> it's so unfinished. It is so unfinished. It is so unfinished. So with that said, this is not a book I can rate. This is a book I feel like I'm glad I read it because I love the poetry in it. I love the bits and pieces of the stories within stories, that kind of deal. Um, but it's, it's again, it's someone digging up a person's writing and creating stories with it. Because this is unfinished work. This is not something that she completely put together and decided that the world needs to see it kind of deal. Um, but it is there out there. It is classic. It is a beautiful poetry sprinkle in this because she had a way with words. And I love that about the storyline. But as a storyline, judging it, giving it a rating, I absolutely can't do that with this. I'm just going to be really honest with y'all. <laughs> absolutely not. Um, but I do find that this is a subscriber pick. You guys know me. And I think you want to You realize I like exploring different kind of work that's in the classic category and this is one of those where I still found amusement in as well as like we were women struggling still struggling <laughs> and in different culture they still struggle lady in the waiting and what are you waiting for that kind of <laughs> it's just it's it's kind of um interesting i i do like the, uh, the expectation and different things of what was happening in the book um but nevertheless it is unfinished to me i did not find this very at all um and it says a book of observation which is exactly what it is as somebody who journals and use word prompt it is giving me that it's giving me if somebody wants to go through my journal and to read and it's just random thoughts on a word and how I feel and might take that and decided we're gonna write a book with this <laughs> so that's how I, I, I took this and again thanks for suggesting this um, it is definitely the oldest classic I've ever read and I'm going to cherish this and I'm going to flip through it every so often and read some of those poetry stuff in there and I think they're very inspirational um, and I can definitely, uh, just see myself, um, going through some of this and, um, enjoying it. But, but yeah, it is, um, OK. 
okay so yeah we are going to end this here and i am going to get back on this computer i need to um do something real quick and also do my journal of the day and get out of here so all right guys let me know if you read this what you thought um and is this the oldest classic you ever read because this is the oldest i've ever read you know based on when it was published over a thousand years ago yeah so it is going to be a special place on my bookshelf and my first japanese classic yay so that's a that's another plus for me so i'm excited that i got it done um but you you can't rate this guys this is not one of the books you rate at all <laughs> all right guys see you in the next one and i'm super happy that i did finish my mom's dress i hope they fit her well and I have one more to go and then I'm going to be um, focusing on my project which is going to be a work which is my tuxedo dress um, so for right now it's all about my mother so I'm super happy I was able to do this for her surprise I was able to complete two and still have two days of to chill and finish up my journal I did not finish my journal so the journal is going to be worked on for tonight, maybe tomorrow, and then it will be done. And I'll do like a quick shorts, just do a, a, a quick shorts on on it. Um, and then I will um, take a break. I have a three-day weekend and no sewing, no nothing. Chill, chill, chill. And I'm excited for that. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys uh, in the next one. Let me know how you think about the project for my mother. And if you read this again, let me know. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.